A question on the YouTube channel recently prompted this tutorial on this JavaScript problem. We're going to look at how we can remove every second or third or fourth item from an array. Before we get started, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description. Also, my website has a list of all the tutorials I've published. There are over 200 now. So, at first blush, this problem may not seem that difficult. And in reality, it is pretty simple once you know the best approach. However, I'm first going to show an approach that uses a for loop. This approach is much more difficult and is not the best approach. But I think it teaches some important concepts. So that is why I want to do that first. Then we'll take a look at the best approach, which is using the filter method of arrays. Okay, let's get started. So here's the array I'm going to be using for this problem. I've used just a sequential list of numbers because then it's easy to see if we've removed the third, fourth, fifth, every one of those from the array. And so that's why I've chosen that particular array. So like I said, first I'm going to use a for loop. So let's set up that for loop. I'm going to declare a variable i and I'm going to set it to, well, let's start by doing every third. So if I want to do every third, I'm going to set i equal to 2 because i is going to represent our index. So 0, 1, 2, so that's the third element. And then we'd go to the next third element next third element. So we're going, we're going to be removing three, six, nine, and so on. So let's do that. So I set that to two to begin with. And then we run this until the array is less than, or until I is less than the length of the array, like that. And then we're going to increment I. Now, I, this is representing the index, so I want it to go from two to five to eight, I wanted to go like that. So in order to do that, we have to increment i by three. And so we can do that using the increment equal operator like that. All right, so there's our for loop. Here's the body of it now. Now, how would we go about removing these? So we want to first remove the one at index two, which is this. We generally use splice to remove things from an array, but I'm not going to do that. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because if we're using splice, it mutates the array. The length of the array changes. It's going to affect how we move through this, and it's gonna change the index numbers of subsequent elements. Now, of course, we could come from the end and go backwards, uh, but what I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to use the delete operator. And this can be used, this is created for properties to delete a, a property from an object. But an array is a property and it can be used on arrays. Now what it's going to do is it's going to delete the element at this index position, i, but it's not, it's not going to remove the place. It, so it'll replace the value with an undefined. It's going to create what we call a sparse array, meaning there are indexes in the array that don't point to anything. They're simply undefined. We'll correct that in a minute, but this is what we want to do initially. So let's go that far there, and then let me just log to the console, this array, and take a look at it. So save that. Open up the console here. Here's our array. Notice how it shows up here in our browser. One, two, three is missing, four, five, six is missing, seven, eight, nine is missing. So it looks correct, right? Well, the length is 14. The length, so the length did not change. And so basically we have a sparse array. So two, index position two is still there, it just doesn't have a value in it, all right? So how do, we, how do we take care of it? How do we 
make this link so it's correct as well. So let me jump back in and uh, here's how we're going to do this. This is really, and this is one of the concepts I wanted to cover with this technique. One is using the delete method as opposed to supplies. The other is using filter and we're going to use filter to solve the problem in the best way, but we use filter here as well. This is a way you can use filter to remove any undefined elements in an array. So to correct a sparse array. And basically what we do, filter is a method of arrays and it iterates through every element in the array. And we have to pass in a function. And the function needs to be a predicate function. Now, predicate function simply means that it returns true or false or a value that can coerce to true or false. And so we pass in a function that does that. If it returns true, then that element or that value is placed in the new array here. If it returns false, it is not. And so it's going to go through each one of these. So what we want it to do is simply return anything that has a value. Simply return true if it has a value. Now remember, I said it coerces to true or false. And so we are receiving, this is our, this is our function that we've passed in using an arrow function here. And this variable contains the value. And so then we simply return that value. Well, if it has a value, it will evaluate to true. If it's undefined, it will evaluate to false. So that's the, the coercion that I'm talking about. So that's how this is working here. And so if it returns true, that value is placed in the new array. So we're going to remove the elements in the array that have no value. Let me save that and we'll take a look at it. There, now we're seeing 10. And we're seeing one, two, three, every third element is removed. All right? So that worked for us. That solved the problem. Now, that approach works great, but it's not the best approach. I want to show an approach here that can do this much faster. So let's take a look at that. Oh wait, I did not want to comment out the array. I still need that. Let me bring that back. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. Now filter will return a new array. I didn't do that when I used filter up here. I had it replace the current one. Usually when you're using filter, you want to place it into a new variable, not replace the current one like I did here. That's one of the advantages of these array methods as they do not mutate the array you're working on. It returns a brand new array. So I'm creating a new variable here and that's what I'm going to place the new array in. And then nums.filter, accessing filter the same way we did before. Now remember, we need to pass in a function. Now, generally, the function we pass in can accept a number of different parameters. The first one it accepts is always the value from the array when it's passed in. So it goes through each one of these and passes it in. But we can also accept the index number. And that's what we're going to do here. So let me set up two variables for that. IDX will take the index number. So here's our function. We're getting the actual value and we're getting the index number of that value from the array. Now, what are we going to do with that? Well, here's where we have to indicate the predicate. So if we want, say, once again, every third element to be removed, well, then those third elements need to return a false so that they are not included in the new array. So how can we do that? Well, if I take the index number, IDX, and we add one to it, so basically what we're going to do is this will be a one, the index number, this will be two, this will be a three, and then we check to see if there is a remainder or not using the modulus operator, that will allow us to see if it's the third element in the array. 
So how would we do that? Well, we're going to use the modulus operator right here. And divide that by 3. And then, if that is not equal to 0, that's going to return it true. So anything that has a remainder here, here, not here, that will not have a remainder. 3 divided by 3, there's a remainder of, of 0. So that will equal 0. So anything that's not equal to 0 is going to return true. And so those will get added into the new array. All right, let's see how this solution works. Save that, and we'll jump out and take a look at it again. Oops, I'm still displaying the original array. Remember, we created a new array here, so... Let me just change that so we're displaying the right one. Take a look again, and here we have every third element removed. Now, the thing I like about this solution as opposed to the other one, it's easier to change this to say every fourth element. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Four, eight, 12 are removed. You could do the same thing up here. You would just have to change this number and this number. Uh, so a lot of things about this solution are much better. And we can see how doing it this way is a simpler, really simplifies the task. And when you know the right approach, it's pretty easy to simplify the task. But we did learn, learn some important concepts by using the for loop. We learned what delete does and we learn how we can take care of a sparse array using filter as shown here. All right, please hit the like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. Click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I try to release a new tutorial as often as I can. And thanks for watching.